Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, it's been a while. It's been a while, and by a while I mean a while, since I've sat down and actually film, filmed a video. Um, a while. That's not what this video is about though. I am back. I have a new setup. Something I haven't done since, like, 2017 um, is a handbag collection video, and I am very avid about collecting handbags. I have about the same amount, if not more, than what I had before. So yeah, I'm gonna show you my handbag collection video. I hope you guys do like this video. If you guys want to make sure to subscribe for more from me, that would be cool. And let's jump right into my collection of handbags. So I think I'm gonna start off with like my three bags. Mm. Okay, more than three. One second. Okay, so this first bag is... <laughs> okay, so me being an avid handbag collector that I am, when Jeffree Star first released his crossbody bags, I had to get one. I I had to. I got the black one versus the pink one because I feel like black obviously is just gonna go with more outfits and everything like that. But I do really like this bag because you can crossbody it or you can wear it as a belt bag. I've never done that and I haven't actually worn a belt bag, but I want to get into trying to wear this as a belt bag because I feel like that would be cool too. Next up are a couple of the bags that I actually still have in my collection from that first video. And they are my Konkin mini backpack, my one in bubblegum pink and my one in black. This one I've taken all over with me. This has gone to California with me. This has gone to Arizona with me. This has gone all over. This is seen some travel. This one is still kind of structured and boxy because I don't really use it. This is more of like a, a like um a collector's piece for me because baby pink is one of my favorite colors and the Pantone like millennial color pink and some of my old videos I actually in my old handbag collection video <laughs> I um have a wall that's painted this color so this is one of my favorite colors so I more savor this just as like something to look at but these are my two Konkin mini backpack and then this one is one of my favorite bags not sure if it's real probably not um but if it were to be real, this would be my dream bag. Like, I love this bag so much, but it's like $7,000 even on the resale market. But this Chanel boy bag in the rainbow pastel painted colors is so stunningly gorgeous that I actually can't handle it. This is one of my favorite, like, decor piece bags that I can just look at, and I love to look at it, and I'm just like... I wish. I'm into my contemporary designers, as they would put it. Um, I've got Kate Spade, Coach, and Michael Kors to go through. And then we'll go into my luxury bag. So, I think the first bag I'm going to show you is my Kate Spade, because I've only got one bag from Kate Spade. And that is this. I'm not exactly sure of the style or the name. However, I got this from Branson, Missouri, when I was on a road trip for my birthday down there this year. I got it at a Kate Spade outlet. Um, this front part of the bag is a pocket, which is really nice. It's got a very large compartment on the inside of the bag. It's got feet on the bottom. It's like this beige color in the gusset. It's white and black on the front. It's got this luggage tag, which is really cute. I really, really, really do adore this bag. And I got it for my birthday, so that just makes it even better. This is another one of the bags that I had in my original... And this is my small baby pink. Uh, this is the Eva bag. Eva crossbody bag. Um, it's got a pocket on the back. It's got a crossbody strap on the inside that you can click onto these rings right here that the top handle are carried from. I actually wore this bag out to the Fall Out Boy concert. I got this from a TJ Maxx store actually for reasonably priced. It was only $90 and when I looked it up at the time on the Michael Kors website they were selling brand new at like 200 and something. I'm not sure but so I got this for a pretty decent price and I'm pretty happy about it. Um, I've had this for probably two or three years now and it still held up in pretty good condition. The only bad thing is on the back since it's such 
a light pink. A little bit of color transfer from my pants, but that's just about it. Next up is another one of the bags that I had in my previous video, so I won't go too deep into it, but it's my Michael Kors yellow croc embossed um, Colette bag. Again, it's got the crocodile embossed embossed gusset. It's got the Michael Kors across the front. On the inside of the bag, it's got the little strap that's common to the Michael Kors line where you can clip your keys or whatever on the inside of the bag so you can just grab it and go. I got this bag. This is the Michael Kors pink ha Hamilton. Um, I got this bag secondhand from a fashion consignment shop here in the city that I live in. It is very slouchy. It has lost a lot of its structure, but I do still really enjoy this bag. And when I carry it from the top handle and it's full, it kind of holds its structure a lot better but it's super slouchy. But I do really like this bag. Um, also, I'm not sure why, but the keys in this clochette come out and they unlock this lock, but the strap doesn't do anything. So it's literally for show and I'm not exactly sure why. And it's the Michael Kors Hamilton. Now this bag actually holds a little bit of significance to me because um, me, my mother, and my father went up to West Virginia to go visit an ill grandmother that is in the family last September and we went to an outlet mall that was right down the road from the hotel that we were staying in. I saw that they had a Michael Kors outlet there and I was like, Dad, we gotta go, please. And when I got there, I found a bag that I was absolutely obsessed with at the time. I didn't personally have enough money for it. And I looked at my dad and I was like, will you buy it for me? And he's like, yeah, what, which one do you want? And I showed him this bag and he said, yeah. So that's how I got this petal blue uh, Michael Kors I'm not sure what this, this is like the Boston bag and Gucci and like a bunch of other uh, fashion lines. So I'm not sure if it's the Boston bag and Michael Kors, but this is my Michael Kors bag with petal blue painting all over the canvas. This is a gorgeous bag. I love looking at it. I love walking by it knowing that this is like the first handbag my dad helped me get. He's never really been super into me collecting bags, so that was like a cornerstone moment, and I look at that bag and I'm like, that means a lot to me. Next, I'm gonna get into my coach bag. Um, I have five of them. So here's the story. When I first started collecting coach, I didn't have any back in March of 2019. I'm filming this video in August of 2019. I went from having no coach at all to five coach bags, four coach wristlets, my dog has a coach collar. And for the longest time, I stuck by the fact, and I still stick by the fact that I thought coach was still kind of ugly. And like the CC monogram, I feel like it's knockoff Chanel, like it looks very gross, especially when it's like that god-awful untreated canvas, like, like just brown nasty color. No, I don't like it. But the coach pieces that I found, I actually find to be kind of very unique, other than the first one that I'm going to show you, which is something in their permanent line, but it's also not their monogram. This is the carry-all, I think it is, I'm not exactly sure, but the same blush pink color as we see um, is a common factor among my collection. However, my best friend Peyton and my roommate helped me purchase this bag. We were in the coach outlet one day. She was getting one of her purses, which is actually from the Disney and Snow White collection here. She was getting this bag. This is uh, Disney Snow White Poison Apple Gold Book canvas tote bag I think it is so she was getting this and while we were there I saw this and she was like well do you really like it do you really want it and I was like well kinda and so she got it for me that is one of the greatest memories that I have in the coach outlet they at my outlet know me when I come walking they're ready for me to spend some money basically whenever I come into the store. I've got an Aztec inspired with a little Jack Skellington keychain on it, uh, Coach Mini Charlie backpack. Um, I got this. This was my first Coach purchase actually back in March. I thought it was really cool. I was really into the chevron print. Um, but then I realized I don't like the inconvenience of having to put on and take off a backpack. Uh, which is really sad because I really want to love backpacks 
backpacks because I love the way they look and I think they're super cute. But I didn't, I find myself not using this because I hate having to always take it on and put it off on my back like when I'm driving or when I'm going in and out of work or anything like that. It's just sort of inconvenient whereas with like a handbag I can just take the top handle and just put it in the passenger seat or I can take the strap off or whatever it is with a crossbody or whatever the situation might be. I just find it inconvenient to always have to put on and take off a backpack. You know what I mean? Now this is my coach Keith Herring collaboration bag. I got this from the outlet as well. This um has patchwork on the front which is the way I usually carry it because again I'm not super big fan of like the way this kind of monogram look. Um it treated canvas which is a lot better than the regular just like not like ditch canvas. However I prefer to carry it on this side because it's got all the craziness going on and I love the patchwork like so gorgeous. These sequins on the flowers. The attention to detail for this bag was amazing and it's got um coach s coach and keith herring on the pull like the pull tab that they do so i just really like this bag and i have the crossbody strap for it on the inside next i have two crossbody bags restrictive from coach and they both have a turn, turn lot closure on them this is the mini Cassidy, and this is the mini Parker. Um, this is velvet, this is leather, this is snakeskin embossed, and this is, like I just said, velvet, and it has rivets on it. And it has rivets. And it has rivets on the front, and it's really actually kind of soft. Like, it's velvet through the gussets. It's got a back brush suede on the interior, which is a really nice, um, it's got, this is the bag I'm using right now. <laughs> um, but it's got leather woven through the chain. The chain can come in, and you can carry it across the top like that. And you can shorten it and maybe make it a top handle. Or you can do all sorts of customizable things with this bag. And the same thing with a mini Cassidy with a mini Cassidy these chain because it comes out just the same and this has the same back brush suede interior on it as well and the chain on here reminds me a lot of the chain on the reissue of the Chanel because it's just so liquidy and it's just so fluid I love these chains and I love these bags these bags actually remind me a lot of Chanel flat bags mainly because the chains and the turn lock closures basically but I do really enjoy these bags and these are probably some of my most carried coach bags so these were well worth the investment all right so now as you can see behind me, they're obviously out of focus because my camera does not autofocus. Working on getting a new camera. However, as you can see behind me, there is a Louis Vuitton, a Saint Laurent, and a Fendi shopping bag. Um, I'm gonna show you my luxury handbag collection now. I only have four of them, so it's, I mean, I, d I never even thought I'd have this many, honestly, and I'm grateful for the ones that I even do have. Fashion Files Layaway Program is superb. I want to do a review on their layaway program. I actually have a pair of Christian Dior sunglasses on layaway so I can, it's from the Fashion File outlet so I can get a full experience of the whole website and then I want to do a Fashion File review because their layaway program, like I said, spot on. However, I have four bags that I want to show you and I'm not going to show you in order of like favorite to least favorite. I'm going to show you in order of purchase in like how, like which ones I got, like in order. Um, this first bag is my prized possession. It is my number one, like, and it might be seem pathetic because it is just a handbag but my roommate and my boyfriend at the time now my husband had saved up grinded and gotten enough money to be able to finally purchase me my very first luxury handbag and that was as you guys have I've done videos on this bag and everything like that so I'm not gonna dwell on it for too long but it is my Alexander Wang Rocco in rose gold lambskin leather and rose gold hardware this was made in 2004 my, my boyfriend and my roommate got it for me in 2015 in December for Christmas and I love this bag. It is still holding up in fairly great condition. Um, there's a couple of nicks in it from my kitty Simba who has unfortunately since passed away. That's just a little way to remember him because lambskin is super delicate and when I got this bag he was a kitten and he put a little nick in it right in the front of it and that's another reason why I think I'm always going to cherish this bag and I'm never going to sell it and I'm never going to do anything with it is because it's like one of the last few things that I have of my kitty Simba and that's a ridiculous thing to associate to a bag but if you see where is it right here there's this little ripped piece of lambskin and that's from my kitty Simba when he was six weeks old I've never mentioned that in any video because when Simba was still alive it was like the most annoying thing because that was like my first handbag but now I'm grateful the next bag I got was a birthday present from my roommate after she had came into a very large lump sum of money and um, this was 
was in 2017. This was a birthday present and it is my Saint Laurent Sac Du Jour in the medium? No, small size. In the small size, it's got the insert on the inside. It's got the strap. It's got my keys right there. I've got all the bells and whistles. I did an unboxing on this video. So on this, I did an unboxing on this bag, so I'm not going to dwell on it for too much, but this is one of my favorite bags. Again, I've carried, this is one of my travel bags, honestly. I carried this through so many airports. This is the bag I take everywhere, um, except for my most recent trip to Vegas, which I didn't take this bag because I took the most recent purchase from my luxury collection that I've got. I took that with me to Vegas, but I love this bag. This is very unique, and I've got a very special memory associated with this bag. When I was in the St. Laurent store in the Beverly Center in LA, I was buying my YSL card holder, and the store manager came out and talked to me, and he was just like, that colorway is amazing. I've never seen that in person. I've only seen pictures of it. Like, the store manager and all the sales associates were all fawning over it. They gave me the best time while I was shopping in the outlet, or not outlet, saying coach too much. Um, they gave me the best time while I was shopping in the boutique and it was like an amazing memory that I will always think of when I look at this bag and when I think of, when I look at my card holder. Next up is a bag that I got myself when I got a promotion at work. Um, I ended up getting, I got a new job from Dollar General, which I no longer work at, God. But when I got my new job, I ended up being promoted up to a higher position within mere weeks if not like a month. Um, so as a congratulatory gift to myself for getting a raise, getting a new promotion and a new position, I ended up getting a bag on layaway for the first time from Fashion File. And what I ended up getting was my Gucci Mini Brie top handle bag in the Gucci Isima leather print. And it's got fuchsia, it's in the fuchsia color. And what I really love about this bag is it's got the Gucci monogram all over it, but it's not the brown can, it's not the tan canvas. This is a lot more durable since it's leather. Well, not really, but kind of. Um, and it's got a crossbody strap on the inside that I can use to crossbody it if I so choose. And I really love this bag. I took this bag up to West Virginia with me when um, I got this Michael Kors. I have traveled with it. Again, I really love this bag and I think of it all the time when I look, I think of my promotion and how proud I am of being able to achieve that high of a standard of work ethic within such a short amount of time. So I treated myself and I got myself a Gucci bag, my first Gucci. Well, here we are, we're at the end, 19 bags later. So this bag, I literally got it because I wanted it. <laughs> and I feel so bad and vapid saying that and thinking that, but like at the same time, like I work hard, I work and I have gotten a raise and a, re a promotion. We'll use that word loosely, but I got a significant raise. So I decided I wanted to get another bag. And honestly, I, this is a long time coming because I've been talking about wanting one of these bags for a very long time. And so when the time came, I used the excuse to get myself a Louis. So this is my Louis Vuitton Trueville, not the Duville. The Duville is so significantly bigger than this. Um, but this is the smaller version called the Trueville. It's got the pocket on the front and everything like that. I got this from Fashion File because a bitch is bougie on a budget. And so I love this bag. I have always wanted a Louis and I've talked about wanting a Louis for the longest time. And while YouTube was still triggering me, triggering for me for a little while, I actually was filming a vlog when I went down to Arizona when I was um, doing press for the book. And um, I got a Louis Vuitton card holder while I was down there. And ever since I got my card holder, it just fueled the fact that I wanted one of the bags so much more. And this is true craftsmanship. I have one from 2004 and it is in pristine condition. Obviously, it's got marks on the patina, uh, on the vachette for watermarks and stuff like that. But, like, that's gonna happen. It's old. It's from 2004. So, I mean, it is still in good condition, and I'm gonna take care of it. I gotta find out a way to even out the vachette on the bag itself and, like, the handles and stuff like that. But, honestly, like, it's great. And I love this bag, and I love all my bags, and my collection has grown far more than I ever have thought it would ever would. And, I'm just so appreciative of like the fact that I can buy even like the four luxury bags I've got or the contemporary bags that I've got between my coach, my my fours, all the way up to the Louis Vuitton or the Saint Laurent. Like 
I mean, I'm just so grateful because I always have admired the fashion of like accessories, handbags, wristlets, wallets, scarves, hats, sunglasses, you name it, I've appreciated it. So like, I just love the fact that I can sit in front of me and look at all these bags and know that they're mine. And you know, you can too. With Fashion Files Layaway Program, you can get yourself a Louis Vuitton or a Gucci or whatever it is that you might want to have. You don't have to think that you can't get it just because it's so expensive. Find your resources, look through your options. You can be bougie on a budget. And so, yeah, that was my handbag collection. If you guys did like this video, please go ahead and leave a like down below. Also, make sure to subscribe for more from me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.